Hey, this is Caleb Christensen with the Funnel Flow Mastermind. And this is a video from one of our weekly accountability check-in calls from the Funnel Flow Mastermind, where I was talking with Chuck Hoskovec. He's an SEO uh, service provider and Jeff Bowie, who is a sales trainer. And I was showing them under the hood of a reverse squeeze page campaign build that I was doing for one of our other members and clients. So let's go under the hood at a reverse squeeze page campaign build using Facebook ads. What up, Chuck? What's going on, everybody? Chuck Hoskovec. Having a bitch session with Caleb. Yeah. I'm, I'm uh, bitching. He's not, I yeah. haven't got a chance to compliment you, Caleb. Your background and your audio and your video, it's like... Semi-professional. Who, who are you? Uh, I'm not Caleb the nurse right now. I'm off... Uh, I'm off work this week, so <laughs> I'm at home. I'm in the home office. What you don't know is this is, a home giant, this is a giant canvas, and uh, yeah. my, the marital bed is back there, so nobody wants to look at that. I don't know. I think there's lots of people who pay for exactly that kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. I, don't think, I think that you, you shouldn't devalue yourself so quickly. Yeah, I know. It's not that kind <laughs> of group chat, okay, Chuck? <laughs> All I'm saying is you brought it up. You, it's like you, you teed it up here and i'm just yeah just we doing had a, no, um, knock it out yeah that's... i gotta take wins where i can get them guys that's right <laughs> i had um stacy and i had a meeting with this other couple and um i just set up this home office in here and i didn't think about the background and and like the disheveled bed is back behind me and this the whole time i'm on camera i'm like oh that's awkward that's so awkward <laughs> It's <laughs> it's really funny. Like you know, a year into this, we do, I do meetings with people who like do lots and lots of Zoom meetings, and I'm like, your background is like you dirty clothes all over it. Like, I don't care about it being a bedroom or a bathroom or whatever, but it's like you know, it's like clean up your background <laughs> or turn on the virtual thing. Yeah. Throw up a canvas. It's very simple. Or throw up a canvas. Anyway, nice move. Thanks. So. Right. How do how do I do the backgrounds? Will it work on this? I don't, I think it'll work it'll work great on that because it's nice it's pretty smooth you got one hot spot check it out all right we're gonna go chuck i responded to your uh, email no, does not work that doesn't uh because it's a white background uh oh, oh and, well, I'm, well, and i'm white so but in but in your setting oh, i don't have a green screen there you go but but when you go to that um thing it says uh where is it virtual background right yeah, it says that my my computer needs a green screen. It's not. <coughs> but there's a little box, there's a little color box there, and you can select the color of your background. Oh, okay. Now your white shirt will blend, but your. Right, so. It's it's fine. It doesn't matter. Okay. Okay. Sorry. I mean, I just I was learning. You get sidetracked, right? It's yeah. Easy. So um. So Jeff kind of vented a little bit. Uh, Chuck, it's your turn to vent. Um, what do I want to vent about? I, I don't know. I'm sure you got something to gripe about. Um, I'm good for right now. I can I have it. your time? With that? Yeah. Can I have your sure. Can I have your bitch sure. time? And maybe I'll jump in and help you <laughs> out. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But but let me tell you my my opportunity switch story. Um, Please. I've been so I've been creating these these events, and my primary sort of thing that we all do in our world is, is talk called why salespeople fail and it's about sort of the things that are happening like a buyer's system that's being used against you and it's a very popular talk but um, i was talking to my buddy alec who i think has been through one of these or maybe i've introduced you to but he's a facebook ads marketing guy is he good yeah but he but he's good but he doesn't really <laughs> he doesn't really want to do it he doesn't really like doing it yeah, well, it's just so that. funny like he knows like he has all the success and people come to him and he's just like he doesn't really want it he does that's not what it's not what blows the skirts up so you know either facebook ads people stink or they don't have time to do it themselves or they're and not interested you know it's just like show me so or they charge a ton of money i guess that's where you should be caleb anyway if you have somebody who's really good a good prospect he would probably listen to um uh, anyway the opportunity switch caleb you got me talking and it was like, people come to me for sales training to, to like, you know, figure out a, a better way of doing it, right? But the opportunity switch is like, it's not a better way. It's a, it's a completely different way. I'm tracking, right? We had this conversation, Caleb, it was you and me? Probably. I mean, this is what I talk about, so. So 
anyway, so we, we switched it up. We, we went through this conversation and I, and I brought it up. I was like, opportunity switch. We need to figure out how to position this. And we were doing some story brand you know, elements to it. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so the new event is going to be, um, you know, the, in fact, I just saw it a second ago. He just kind of launched it. Um, the hidden laws of sales that nobody tells you. Mm. Mm. And it's going to be more on the lines of like, you're missing, you're missing the pole point. You're doing it completely wrong. So anyway, mm. the, Chuck, this comes on the, on the heels of me saying I'm basically quitting. <laughs> so. <laughs> Let me get another invoice to you real quick, though. First. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is so you you are doing an opportunity switch on your talk, the why salespeople fail, and you're putting a different spin on it, yeah. right? Yeah. And because uh, maybe to my point earlier, like um, they don't want to hear about the failures because they're a failure and it's painful and just. Yep. And, and where we live, right, Chuck, everybody's overeducated. They, get, they, they, they make tons of money. The economy is really good. There's no real pain. Like if I talk, when I talk to you all, all the time, it's like your sales team and they're like, we're fine. You know, we're okay. We, we love a new trick. We'd love to like, you know, figure something out. But it's like, it's really difficult to get somebody to say like, we have some serious issues if we don't solve, right? It's important, very rarely. And they're just so, not hungry enough. They are not. And yeah. if- there's not enough pain. And so they need to be like hungry enough, but not on the verge of collapse where they haven't lost all hope. Right. 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 Dang. Mm. So, so do you have a new trick to tell, show them, or are you just going to put a spin on the same thing? It's the same thing. Nice. When people see the talk, typically they're like, Oh yeah, that that's, I didn't realize that. And then, and then of course it shames them and they go away. Cause they're like, they feel, made them feel bad because they didn't realize this. <laughs> Look, just take action. It's okay to feel bad. Like, listen, you're an adult, Chuck. I get it. You get it. I, yeah. Caleb gets it, but most people don't. <laughs> yeah, you're correct. People are babies. Like, even I'm a baby. If something doesn't work properly, sometimes I'm just like, Wah! my wife's like, why are you getting so upset? I was like, well, shut up, ladies. <laughs> right, shut up. Can you, do your, can you do your baby Chuck again? <laughs> Ah! all right so anyway are we waiting on uh rod and uh, I scott mean, uh scott i think has a, an appointment and rod um i don't know he's not here so all right so all right what are we doing well this is a weekly check-in call i'll show you what i've been working on because i've been trying to model what i've been teaching and um you can share <clears> with me what you guys are working on so cool. how's that how's that sound bring it okay good. cool uh let's go on to her all right, so um, let's hide floating media controls. Okay, so um, I am working on Scott's minimum viable marketing wheel. Okay, um, we've had different funnels in the past for lead capture, but it's been mostly focused on relationship. Uh, and now we're switching to really putting all his focus onto Awaken Life Academy. Let that boot up here in a second. Okay, so if you remember the minimum viable marketing flywheel, you have traffic up on top, traffic turns into lead capture, lead capture turns to nurture, and then the nurturing, you need to be publishing because publishing is part of the nurturing process that turns into more traffic because sometimes you have to you have to re they have you have to touch your prospects a few times or even if you get them to buy something on a low ticket you still need to nurture them up into your next set of your value ladder right so it's this idea of a flywheel and with momentum eventually it'll spin up and kind of carry itself with just a little bit of instead of you pushing you know this millstone getting all that energy you know over time it has momentum and then it's just like little touches to keep it going right so that's the concept i've been trying to think through and now I'm applying it to Scott. And, and, and at which stage are you talking about adding this? So this is a lead capture. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So I'll just shut up. You're going to show it to us. Okay. Thanks. What about working all week on your business, Caleb? What's that? Are you excited about working all week on your business instead of doing the nursing thing? 
Um, I wish I could work all week on my business, but I am a family man. Okay. Which is the greatest joy of all. Chuck. Yeah. Family times for after hours. Right. <laughs> It just means I have to wake up early and go to bed late. Okay, so this is the hook. What is financial intimacy? It's this framework that Scott has uh, put together and it's subtle, but the hook right here is sexual. So the idea is how are, we, how are we tying what happens in your wallet to the bedroom in the married, married monogamous sense? Because the idea is, you know, the opportunity switches. Yeah, you can do budgeting. You can do more with less. Um, you can download some budgeting app but still you're not getting to the heart of it where you're on the same page as your spouse completely. So Scott is taking his relationship frameworks and melding it with a financial planner's background and kind of bringing the two together. And it's actually really cool. It's, um, and then nestled it. And so the whole idea is to have people go through this challenge, which every month he releases a live course. Um, he calls it a challenge, but it's essentially, it's a live course that he is delivering and recording to his current members and then he puts it in the members area and then as people join his membership area they have access to this whole course library so that's how he set it up format wise so the idea is with each challenge create a simple lead magnet that's going to capture that we can invite people to just that month alone as a lead magnet like come join this live experience or even if it's in the can already but take this course essentially for free which would normally be $100, take it for free. Um, and then the, throughout, basically going through the process of the course, you're nurturing them. Um, and then you're also capturing them on the list. So that if they don't convert to a sale, uh, Scott can email them and keep them in the, in the wheel until they convert. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is the funnel. Um, it's a simple reverse squeeze page. And if you remember, a reverse squeeze page gives a little bit of value up front. And then it's, a, it's, it's helpful, but incomplete. So on the second page, they can, uh, they're basically opting in for more or going a little bit deeper. So the, the more or the little bit deeper is actually a lot deeper where they're actually going to have an opportunity to join this challenge. So this is a video sales letter where Scott talks about the framework, talks about the, how you can marry the financial and the other areas of intimacy and overall have a more fulfilling life. So anyway, so that's, um, this is the funnel, pretty simple reverse squeeze page. And then this is actually when enrollment ends because it is a live course. Um, all right, so that's that's the funnel, okay? Okay, can, can, I'm sorry. Yeah, go ahead. I'm gonna, I, I spent my day telling people some concepts that I thought were simple and then they got a bunch of blank stares. So I'm gonna be the guy who says, I don't, still don't understand what a reverse squeeze page means. Um, so I know what a squeeze page means right like, just very limited amount of information all right here's this traditional squeeze page yeah this says give me your email i have goodies on the other side right you're not getting nothing until you give me your email right reverse squeeze page says i'm going to give you a little something but if you want the rest give me your email so really it should be called a delayed squeeze page <laughs> reverse it's not really a reverse uh you know well the idea I, is I, on the other side of the squeeze page i'm not trying to be difficult it. i'm not you i get are. it i, get, I understand okay. <laughs> but 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 the cool thing is i don't have to try yeah so um yeah right, so okay. it could be so reverse it, it does give it a uh reverse it's just like what i don't understand it um but now you do understand it right yeah i got uh, it now thank you no yeah. appreciate it and frankly, I had heard that term thrown around a lot, of, a lot in marketing materials, and I never really took the time to like, what does this actually mean? So I did some research, and that's how I've simplified it. And you, um, and you like it better than a standard squeeze page because you're giving a little value. The idea is you can qualify your customer a little bit more. So this, any idiot will give you any email because this looks, this looks cool, right? But with this. You know, they may, maybe they'll give you a junk email or something just right. so they can collect the PDF and not really be interested in what you have to say. They just want the freebie. Okay. So you'll maybe have a higher opt in rate. And Russell Brunson says you should be shooting for a 40 to 50% conversion rate on a, on a page like this. Cause like, really, what's the barrier? It's free. Just give me your junk email and I'll give you something in, in exchange. 
right? So, and if you're- if, <laughs> Give me your junk email. I mean, I like, literally have an email address called Caleb loves junk mail at gmail.com. And that's what I opt into for this kind of stuff. But it's a real account. It's real. I okay, actually, okay, okay. You're not like, hey, just give me some fake one, two, three at, you know, penis.net. No, because- right? You're like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I didn't listen. Bad. I this is my <laughs> that's <not> that. okay. <laughs> that maybe that's probably a real thing. I didn't think about it too hard. I probably uh, I, Here, let's let's check that out. No, 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 okay, no, 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 Oh, I know what it was. It was building a pop-up on these pages and it was like, um, requires people to leave a business address. So it won't take, you know, it won't take like Gmails or Hotmails or AOL or whatever. ClickFunnels is not that fancy. Okay. 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 Anyway. The, the thing is why, the way I would conceptualize why a reverse squeeze page is better at qualifying your prospect is because like for this one, they're actually joining a challenge. So if I'm joining a course or something, I'm going to give a legit email. I'm going to look for it in my inbox. I'm going to whitelist it because right. I, I want to go through the content, you know? So that's, it's a higher level of commitment and maybe less people are at that spot in life where they're ready to jump into a five part course. Cause there's, you know, you have to like do work right. and show up and, you know, Americans don't like that anymore. Um, right. But the people you do get there, hopefully you'll you can sell a higher percentage of them so anyway because scott's whole thing is i mean requires some commitment you know we could have done something like this but uh i don't know you know i we want people to be engaged and actually show up to this challenge so okay. cool anyway so then go over to ads manager in facebook um made a little simple ad campaign i've been running it a few days i've had one lead from it but um you know, I'll kind of show you um, kind of under the hood a little bit. Uh, so my targeting, do you know much about uh, Facebook ads or advertising? Only, I, I'm, I'm not confused with what I'm looking at now, but I, I don't know much more. Basically the idea is ad set. So campaign is what's your goal? Are you trying to get a lead? Are you trying to make a sale? So when you're setting up your ad campaign, you're looking you set up your campaign based on goal. So our goal for this uh, campaign is to get leads, All right? Um, and the, the reporting isn't showing up here, but basically, yeah, the idea for this is just to get leads and my conversion tracking is such that this will register a conversion once they hit the landing page, therefore they've gone through the funnel and give me their email address. Now, ad sets are really audiences. Who are you going to show these ads, ad sets, these ads to? So for this, um, it is um, married people with kids ages 27 to 50. It's very broad. Um, it's about 1.2 million people can be shown this ad set approximately. But the idea is Facebook has so much data about so many people and you want, I learned this from Frank Kern, Chuck and I took his course this summer. You want to cast a wide net, but identify your target audience with your copy because uh, it's relatively cheap to show impressions and that the people who like, instead of trying to figure out like what specific audience would this offer work for, who's a general group of people that this could work for. And then you use the copy to pull them in, right? to tell them the story. Yep. Okay. Yep. So then I have two ads running. Um, uh, let's edit this and you can see it. So this is all linked into Scott's marriage architects thing because one, he doesn't have a very good awaken live Facebook page yet. And, and, you know, it's a married product. So it's seem reasonable. So as you can see, I'm calling out, I'm calling out my audience. Uh, Frank Curran calls it uh, dog whistle copy. It's, you know, look over here. Attention couples who feel disconnected in the area of money, 
Click learn more to watch a short video explaining how it is possible to get it on the same page as your spouse with money. Now, frankly, I'm not crazy about that copy. Like it's not too compelling. It's not giving much of a, it's not that sexy of a hook, but um, what I've been learning is Facebook is like crazy lately on ad accounts they're shutting down and that you have to be very careful on what you're promising and not promising in your ad copy. So it's safer to be a little blander with your copy in terms of like promises. And you're more talking, it's say it's more, it's more about you have to talk about the process. So um, uh, as opposed to saying like, click learn more, like couples like you can stop fighting about their money, right? So that's a promise. And for whatever reason, Facebook looks at that as liability. Like, oh, this guy's promising things he can't deliver. So they restrict the ads or they close it down or somebody will complain and flag it and saying this is BS and they cancel your account. Right. So uh, you can't argue with that. You know, you're going to learn something in this video. I'm not promising you any results. So anyway. Um, and then down in the description, a majority of couples argue about or completely avoid the topic of money altogether. Together, altogether, there's a better way to address money in marriage. It's a new concept called financial intimacy. Watch the video to learn about a new concept called financial intimacy. It's kind of repetitive. Where is that description showing up, Caleb? Is that down below the picture? That's down below. Yeah. Thank you. So if you if you hover over it, I think it pops up in the dialogue box. Okay. So anyway, this is the first ad I put together. Like, um, you know, the main kind of a stark contrast uh, ad just so kind of um, provides contrast in the feed. And then there you go. So I looked at Brendan. I, so when I go on Instagram now, I'm less, I, I indulge myself less with like looking at funny videos and stuff. And I, I like purposely ignore the organic content content. I'm only looking at the sponsored listings. So I saw the sponsored listing that looked, that had a lot of interaction. And this was basically the format. It was headline, um, you know, picture that drives a little bit of curiosity and then a little bit more information. So uh, essentially the same copy, uh, click learn more to watch a short video explaining how it's possible to get on the same page as your spouse with money. In this video, Scott Landis will explain how it's possible to get on the same financial page as your spouse via a concept called financial intimacy. So kind of a soft sell on my opportunity switch that like, this is a new concept. Um, maybe I could mention in here, like this isn't a budgeting talk. This is about um, whatever, but anyway, um, this is the Instagram preview. So, so I'm still calling out who I'm trying to go after. But so in terms of my flywheel, this is what we're publishing. You know, we're, it's a paid, paid content. We're going into traffic. Then we're trying to capture right here. Um, and then Scott has a, a nurture sequence set up. And then the idea is to get him onto this challenge where uh, he's going to make a thousand dollar annual offer at the end or a down sell that has some bonuses or a down sell to a hundred dollar a month membership. So this is an MVM in action. Your thoughts or suggestions? And can we see what it looks like when you put the email address in step two? Yeah. All right. Uh, who should we spam? Let's see. G off. Yeah. At penis.net. Yes. <laughs> was it .net before or was it .com? Has it always been .net? <laughs> Um, I, I have a bookmarked, uh, Chuck. Oh, I, I, I use the pen dot is. <laughs> yeah. And you'll also notice in my coffee right here. Uh, that's funny. <laughs> you also notice in my coffee, I'm not saying originally my copy was, um, I didn't have that start the journey part. Um, it just said, get on the same page with money, rekindle lost in intimacy again. Like those can be in interpreted as like promises or guarantees. And so I'm also telling Facebook, like, look, I ain't promising nothing. Like, I'm just saying, like, this is the journey that we're going to go on. So uh, I downloaded a little $7 Facebook ads cheat sheet. So I'm pretty much an expert now. Nice, right. nice. 
Yeah, okay, here's the thank you page. So it just takes them to the next step. So register for the challenge group, either pay $100 or sign up for a free child of Awaken Life Academy and then register for the course in the members area for free. So this is this is step two. Mm -hmm. What's next? Um, so they th that can be it, and they can close out, or mm -hmm. you can then, this is like a, click, so then click here, what happens if you click there? Swipe the card. Okay. See, so this is, um, so if you become a member to Scott's thing, uh, you get access to everything, including what's coming up. So the idea is, and um, we're staying here, saying here, like you can pay it if you want, or you just sign up for his free trial and you can, it's basically a no, a no credit card required trial. Um, so we, we found a flaw in this because um, we thought, and you experienced this, Jeff, with Podia, this membership platform that he's on, we thought that when you sign up for a trial, you have to put in your credit card and that you have to cancel in order to stop the charge. Actually, <laughs> actually, it doesn't require that. It just like lets you in for free, basically, without asking you to do anything. You have to, on your own volition, go up into your account, put in your credit card information before the trial expires. And we're like, people are so lazy. They're, yeah. They're just yeah. not going to do that. So and also with Podia, every so he has a ton of courses in here. You could basically one when you're on your free trial um, access all of his course library, which retail, which would be like thousands of dollars. And I'm like, that doesn't make sense. Yeah. And so it's a good thing for the members. Right. But not for somebody who's on a trial and, you know, it's just a, a looky loo. So what we're doing instead is instead of giving them a membership, instead of saying, hey, um, you know, sign up for this free trial, we're going to automatically on the back end of ClickFunnels, um, you can click, you can uh, connect ClickFunnels through Zapier to Podia. Mm -hmm. And and once we get, capture that email, it will automatically register them as a customer of this course and they'll receive a confirmation email to access the course. So then that'll prompt them to make an account. They only have access to that course. And then it's like, okay, well, how do we get them to buy? The last page, the wrap, the, the last day of the course, the wrap up day, um, Scott is gonna bundle kind of like a mini uh, webinar slash offer for, you know, like taking it to the next step where he'll give the call to action to um, become a member and then follow through. Um, So anyway, it's a lot of moving parts, but that's where we're at. Cool. <clears throat> okay. Any thoughts? Like financial intimacy, like that's, and also that you put start, start the journey. I'm going to use that. Well, I'm going to use start your journey. Yeah, I made, yeah, I made some notes there, putting some steps into your journey. Right. right? Yes. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if this is helpful, but I'm just, um, you know, I have, I, have the, I don't have an escape key on this freaking keyboard. Anyway, I'm just going to leave that sharing up. Um, I fall, I fall prey to not fall <laughs> my life. And, um, and so I'm really, I'm really trying to implement what I'm teaching. And also in terms of how I'm running this group, I, I know things are kind of slow. I'm trying to get everything set up with my limited time, but um, I'm, I'm making a point to publish a podcast a few times a week. I'm emailing my list, which Jeff, somehow I think you opted out again. Um, Do I? So, yeah. <laughs> yes. You've signed up twice and both both of your accounts say uh, not a subscriber and I'm like yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I have an I have an allergic reaction to uh, to automated emails isn't that funny yeah well Maybe part of my problem you're inspiring me to uh, make a workaround so you're automatically subscribed <laughs> so uh, thank you for I being so stuff I don't need your email marketing I, I'm in, I'm in I'm all in no I know I know but I it's it's more for like communication. 
like I'm trying to communicate and um, I know you're not getting the email. So, well, I get your okay. Marco Polos. Okay. That, you know, <laughs> so that's, it's fine. They're, they're much more, they're much more, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, Personal? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, anyway. Oh, I figured out how to So, share. Caleb, are you, yeah. and I know we're, we're at time, but do you, um, oh, hang on a second. Come on, stop that. You, um, feel like this is the this is the overall workflow for, like build the funnel the reverse squeeze um and then feed it with facebook ads i think it's a it's a for 10 bucks a day you can test your concept you can test your traffic um you know like transparently yeah here um i can see the analytics on my phone it's not real time on facebook for some reason but like and spending 50 bucks, I've had six people click into the ad, which mm -hmm. I haven't optimized anything. I just created it and I let it run for a few days just to see like what happens, right? So I haven't tested different audiences. I haven't just tested different ad copy, right? So completely untested. I've had six people click in. I have, I've had one lead, okay? So it's a good way to like test your message with completely cold traffic. Um, and, and then... Yeah, without having to worry about it too much like russell so yes it is the workflow i think create a simple squeeze funnel reverse or traditional of to your target market run some cold traffic you know blow 100 bucks just get some data and a tweak it and adjust it cool cool um can i ask something off topic yeah I mean, on, on on subject but not not related